To start the year on the good food, we're going to talk about Johnny's concerts and how to attend them, what to do when you get there, what are the rules, and things like that. <laughs> this week I will not be alone. I invited my friend Mandy, who's been living in Japan for about six years, and who has about 70 concerts under her belt. So she's kind of an expert on the Johnny's concert. So we're talking about tickets, tickets resale, QR codes, rules at the venue, what are the differences between going to a concert in Japan and going to a concert in Europe, differences between concert and butai. If you have any questions at the end of the video, please put them in the comment because I will be doing a part two with Mandy. And this time we will be talking about how to attend TV shows such as Shonen Club. And we can answer questions regarding concert and things that maybe were not too clear during this video. Get ready, grab a snack, and let's go! Because it's your first time on my channel, welcome! If you can just tell the viewers uh, where you're from, how long you've been living in Japan, and uh, since when you've been attending a uh, concert. Obviously, I'm not from an English-speaking country, otherwise my English would be better. I'm from Germany. I'm living in Japan for almost six years. You can actually put another year because I did working holidays as well. Everything started with J-Rock. I went to Gak concerts, Miyavi's concerts. We were looking them up on YouTube and suddenly my friend was like, oh look, there's like this cute guy standing on that football field. Who is that? And she clicked on it and it was Kamenashi. Oh, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> it was really, everything started from there that we were just researching on YouTube and found Shonen Club and found the concert because we were just for working holidays, right? You weren't in a fan club. You still didn't know how things work. We were just like, oh, we know this is happening, but how the hell do we go there? We luckily, Overlife Journal found someone who was selling tickets and like that my very very first Johnny's concert was in December 2012 in the Yokohama arena and it was the fresh Johnny's Junior concert and the main people at that time were stones. Oh my god! <laughs> the, the problem was we got resale tickets right so it was oh, right. the very last row of the whole Yokohama arena. Because the ticket system is very different from Europe as well. For us, depending on where you are sitting, you will pay more or less money. But mm -hmm. for OG, first of all, there's a lottery. So even if you, you can't buy a ticket straight away, so everybody pays the same price and you discover where you are sitting when you are inside the venue, right? Yeah, it depends on the uh, ticket system you have because everything changed a little bit over the years. A few years back, you still had normal paper tickets. You went to the lottery system on the uh, fandom page, on the fan club page. If you hit, you would get uh, your tickets via post. And then it was always that like, oh, you opened the ticket, where do you sit? Oh my God, we <laughs> have arena seats. And then, oh, second floor, Tokyo Dome, last <laughs> row, oh fuck. Then it started that we got the QR codes, right? Fun part about the QR codes is that in Tokyo Dome, you still somehow know where you sit. Because two days before the concert, your gate will be written underneath your QR code. Because oh they have God. so many gates from where you have to enter, they tell you the closest gate to your seat. Gate 40 or 41, you're screwed. Yeah. You're it's just a all dog in, in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone pays the same money and someone will end up in the very first row, someone yeah. will end up in the very last row and someone will end up touching me seeing nothing and all three of them yeah. have paid pay the, the same, same money. Amount. The touching me is the part like you pay the same price but you don't get a seat. You're standing the whole concert and you're usually standing behind the last row of the first or the second stance. The problem is that the last row is the same height as you. So when they right. stand up you see nothing. Started that suddenly all venues said, oh, we are doing Tachimi for the same price, even though the people can't sit down and can't see, but you're just listening to the concert. You don't watch it. <laughs> you know right away when you have Tachimi, it's written on your ticket. It doesn't mm. matter if it's a QR code or not. It will say that it's Tachimi. Just prepare and get like 10 centimeter heels at least. Pay money when you go in, even with the QR code, you will get your paper ticket then and it will say, you are this stand, this block, this seat. For example, in Yokohama Arena, they hand it to you and you go in and you 
still have to uh, make like a back check. They will uh, check the inside of your back. Yes. Because yes, you're yes, not allowed to bring like big cameras and stuff. And uh, even water is only allowed until 500 milliliters and no glass bottles and stuff like that. One thing as well, it doesn't matter where you are sitting, you're not supposed to move from your seat. Because when you go to concert in Europe, people will leave their seat and just run towards the stage to be closer to the stage. And then people just push and you can't do that in Japan. You're not supposed to leave your seat, right? It depends, of course, if you're going to a Johnny's concert or to a J-Rock concert. You're not allowed to run. You go in after the person. You will follow that person until you're really inside the hall. And then you decide where you want to go. What is for you the main difference between a Johnny's concert and, for example, a rock concert in Japan or a Western uh, artist like in Europe? No one will scream, no one will whistle, no one will like jump up and go super hyper. All they will do is squeal. Yeah. Because Japanese, yeah, <laughs> Japanese people squeal. And I don't know why and how, but 99% of them know exactly at what timing to squeal. Here you have this super organized feeling like it looks like soldiers even the way you move your pen light it's very organized you have to follow the flow no one to double no one to twirl <laughs> you have to change the color depending on who's in front of you something that i i thought was really cute is also when you have like the groups of people when they go to concert they will do all the members colors it depends on the group because mm. depending on the group you're attending, the concert you're attending, you will have like whole cosplay outfits. For example, Kiss My and Kanjani 8. They have fans which come in a whole bodysuit in the member color. <laughs> they will dye their hair in member color. They, they will go all out. Seriously, you can do whatever you want. Actually, you can say like everything goes. The more you are attending concerts of the same group the more you will see uh, this is the main outfit 80 percent of the people will be dressed in black so you usually just in casual or cool in black and uh usually when it's really cartoon you just like for me i have the member colors in the hair i put yeah. strands um for cartoon you have a lot of yankees coming like people really going totally yankee because they are an ueda fan then again you have Kamenash fans in a red short sparkling dress with their hair hair up like this and a makeup that is sophisticated for yeah. nightlife and in high heels and everything so it's totally different but it's still the same group because you know exactly yeah. oh this is a Kama fan this is an Ueda fan only thing is you have to decide if you want people to look at you or if you want to be invisible yeah if you want to blend into the into the crowd <laughs> yeah because if you want to be invisible no matter what group just go casual the easiest to be looked at is to be totally over the top which means yeah. you're going in a in a wedding dress to a news concert <laughs> that's amazing <laughs> You put a flower crown on your head. A lot of news fans do that. Yeah, the most I see that at news. Of course, other groups do that too. But for me personally, I saw that the most at news. Back in the junior times, there were cosplayers having the Shiritsubakalea Koko outfit oh, from wow. the girl. Show that they're Stones fans. Yeah. Spend your attention if you like that. Go all out. Do whatever you want. The, I think the only rule is whatever you choose, it has to fit in your seat. Don't put like big hats on or don't come in a ball gown or something like that. One of the things that people are, might be worried about is, do I need to be fluent in Japanese to attend a concert? You don't have to be fluent, but you need to know like a few key sentences, I would say. Can I have your ticket? Uh, do you have any camera on you? Can I check your bag? this way please so you need to know these few key sentences at least to be able to you know go and not bother anyone otherwise you can just like discard you and you will have no idea even if you just know a little bit of the basics you're usually fine even if you completely don't know japanese and somehow got ticket usually to be honest the stuff is super nice because they see you and they know already the chances are high that you don't understand them japanese are really good in showing you so they will be like and, you just, oh, okay, <laughs> and then they will be like Same -sama. 
three people. Oh, yeah, three. Yes, that's us. So then you have your ticket. No problem. Everything goes with yes. Don't be weird. Otherwise, they will check your name on the ticket. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and then they will ask you ID and you're out. <laughs> yeah, usually it's really easy. I never had that problem until now, but especially now with the QR codes. If your QR code doesn't show up and you don't know Japanese, you're in big trouble. Because there's, an, there's a booth you can go to where they will help you. I never had to go, so I'm not sure if you can borrow another phone and log in from there, but I always have all my data on paper, like my login data for my fan club, for my mail account, for whatever account I need on that day in case my phone breaks. Always have a paper with you so you can walk to the staff and let them help you. It's a bit different as well. Like if you buy a ticket from someone, it means that they're buying with the fan club member card. So you have to be with them. So if you're buying a ticket from someone, but they don't enter with you and they ask you the ID, they will know that on your ticket, your name doesn't correspond to your passport. And usually they will not, not let you in. I think that's also the problem this year and next year because of Corona. They have extra rules. Like it says, for example, you're not allowed to enter when you were overseas for the last two weeks. Will not likely happen because they would be super racist and Japanese people usually try to not do that because Japanese people can also go overseas, right? So yeah. who knows if the person next to me was in England or somewhere else two weeks ago. That is why a lot of people this year were like, nah, not selling, not trying to buy. Personal experience, concerts, no stage plays included, only concerts, Johnny's Entertainment Concert. Over the past years, I went to 76 and I went to 51 musicals and butais and I not even once was asked for an ID check. It can happen, but to be honest, the possibility that it happens is really small. Stuff like this, I usually don't recommend to people because it freaks you out. Before the concert, you will be just totally freaked out, especially don't even try for Arashi. But um, I heard from so many friends, they tried, they failed. They couldn't get in because Arashi is so ID checked. If you're not the person who's written down there, you won't get in. And for example, a friend hit wants to give me the ticket, but I have to go alone. It's her name. Mm -hmm. If there's an ID check, I'm out. You're inside, you're in your seat, everything is fine, the concert is about to begin. What are the rules they followed? For Tokyo Dome and Yokohama Arena, you usually have it on the screen and you have staff members running around with the signs. And if it's a smaller venue, then just the staff in front will hold up signs and go down the aisle. Don't take photos, don't take videos, don't record the show, not even the voice. Don't kick around, whatever, like don't be loud, uh, don't scream around, like those are the rules which you will definitely see and understand even if you don't know Japanese because it says it like you have a camera with cross on it. Personal experience. You sit down, you want to follow the rules and you see everyone in front of you is taking pictures of the stage. So you're taking pictures of the stage too. And to be honest, you will see them all over Twitter. You will have yeah. those photos on Twitter, on Facebook, on LiveJournal, wherever. You will find them everywhere. The big difference is never take a picture when the idols are on stage. If the staff sees you taking a picture before or after the concert, all they will do is take away your phone and they will tell you, they will give you the phone back after the concert. You have to go to the staff and get it back. Some staff members are also nice and just make you delete the photo and leave you with the phone. But if they realize you're taking photos or even videos Do while the idols are on stage, be prepared that you're getting thrown out the venue right at that moment. I've seen it happening a lot. Yeah, it's your concert. You want to enjoy the concert. So don't try to like get that video. Like you have the binoculars, which can record the junior concerts. They usually didn't get a DVD until a few years back. So people try to record with the binoculars, but the stuff isn't stupid. The stuff knows those binoculars and the stuff is pacing up and down the aisles nonstop. I saw like six people getting thrown out in one concert. For that, you will be thrown out yeah. and maybe even lose your fan club if you have one. I really think like it's better to just enjoy 
And once you manage to get in there, stay there. <laughs> for Japanese concerts, you, you have your chair and the chair is your area. You yeah. can do whatever you want in that area. But yeah. everything that goes Go. out of the box, because Japanese people are passive aggressive, they won't tell you, but they will hate you. No matter what Uchiwa you have, you usually have it like this. There is the problem of, I want to see them, but I also want them to see the Uchiwa, especially when it's a self-made one. So people will be... Yes. Stretching, people, yes. Like, people realize it immediately. Like, you get excited. Someone is like, oh, sorry, could you, like, stop that? And when you stop it, everything is fine. No one will hate you. But if you yeah. keep doing that, it's like... So what is the difference in terms of uh, attending a concert and attending a butai? Especially even now, like a lot of the um, theater plays and musicals still have paper tickets. Already know your seats when you're getting your paper ticket. Like getting in is actually the same. And um, of course, no videos, no photos, not even off the stage, nothing. And no recordings. And um, what has changed a little bit now through Corona again, uh, which is actually also for the concerts, you have time slots when you are allowed to go inside. So you know through your time slot if you have a good or a bad seat. They will fill from the front to the back so n people are not passing each other. So the earlier your time, the better your seats. Some stage plays and some musicals, for uh, for example, Shonen Tachi. Shonen Tachi has a show time in the end. So you can bring your pen light, you're allowed to use your pen light at the end, and it's more of a party, yes. half concert-like feeling, but you're still sitting. So you're not standing up, you're sitting, but you're going with your pen light. So if you're not sure if it has a show time, just put your pen light in your back and see. And like the yes. show time has nothing to do with the with the play. It's usually like a little fan service. So yeah. it's, it's a bit confusing because when I was watching uh, the Japan, it's just, there's no transition. It's just like the play ends, Curtains, showtime. And I'm just like, is the showtime part of the story? It's not. It's really not. <laughs> it's not. Is there anything like any advice that you would like to give to any reviewers? If you have something you are not sure about, just ask someone. Don't go in and be like, oh, I, I will find out that later. Because I know that from personal experience, you mess up so badly, you will remember it for years. That's not why you go to concerts. You want to go to a concert to have fun, to be with your friends. And even if you go alone, you want to be nice to the other people and the other people naturally also want to be nice to you. It's not like the Japanese fans don't like foreigners. If you act nice, everyone will like you and nothing bad will happen. Ask someone who knows, especially if you just go once. And when can, uh, can people find you online then? You're a stunt woman? Yes. So she, you're working on a movie at the moment? Yes. Apart from that, you also write fan fictions. My personal favorite is one with the tiger as the main character. It is amazing. So I highly recommend that. But basically, yeah. you can also help with the with shop service. Because yeah. I'm Stormy, usually, always, everywhere. You can always find me under Stormy. Yeah, you can find my movie on Twitter as well. I'm posting about that, I think, around January a little bit more. Because we are going into filming. And I hope I'm going out without any big injuries because I'm going to get thrown off a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>